So here's Luca blowing past Quentin Grimes the other night for a 60-20-10. But uh, I'll, I'll look into your um, body hickey machine. See if it's that pretty much that. Right, so we're here with the We Miss the Exit show. We are doing the NBA King of the Tag. You're it. I'm joined here with Brian. Brian, how you doing? Great. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, my man. You too. And I'm here with Kurt also. Kurt, how you doing? Good. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. So, to recap, somebody finally grabbed that slide? trophy. Uh, it is I think so. Slide. This is the second slide. It, oh, it's over the second slide. Yeah, there that's the first slide. There we go. There's the first slide. <laughs> Brian, you have one job. That's it. All right, there we go. There's that first one. Yeah, so a little recap. Uh, I've been doing all right the last uh, last few weeks or something like that. I'm almost at my 500. What are you thinking about uh, yourself there, Kurt? Still chomping away, but minus five since last week. What are you thinking? Yeah. Still way over 500, still far better than everyone, and still can't get the trophy. So <laughs> And still can't get my the teams, trophy. My teams seem to only lose when they're going for the trophy. That really does seem like it. Look at, look at all your teams. Like You have only like more, two teams that aren't 500 themselves. That is ridiculous. Kurt's got yeah, the little two next to his name. You know, when I saw Evan getting 27, I'm like, nobody's going to be able to catch him. But I'm like, you know, it's only eight away from me, and Brian could go on a huge run right now, too. Well, anyone can go on a run, and uh, it's a... Like I was, I feeling pretty out of it at first, but it, it's a long season. Like it's only yes. January, and we go to what May? Yeah, we're not even Rangers halfway season. done. We're not yeah. even halfway done. There are 82 games in the season, and we're at 34, 35 ish. So yeah, we have ways. So I'm not too worried about it. I think Evan picked a good team because he's 50 50 with the records, but he's got the most. You know, like that's kind of you want teams that are going to be streaky almost. Yeah, he picked I, like this. Yeah. He picked the good teams for the right time, I think is what it was. Like the Grizzlies and Celtics. So those are huge picks for him. And I was mm. going uh, like I was going through because uh, I create the thing for Instagram. Uh, I've been trying to do it every day. And uh, how many teams are there in the NBA? 30. 34? 30? 30. Okay. So um, like where I upload them, where I upload the icons to for each team, I've only used like 10 teams. Like yeah, that Not, sounds about right. There's a lot of teams that like really haven't even had a chance to win it yet, so uh, Ooh. it's a long season. That was another set that I thought about throwing into this little picture that we have, is um, how many games has each team held the trophy for? So like like Evans Memphis would have like what, like 15 games he had Memphis held it for? Mm. Uh, Something Memphis like that? Yeah, that's for cool. a lot, and Boston had it for a lot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought about throwing that that little set on there too uh, the other day. So I might, I might do something like that. But anyway, that I think that's a, we're all almost at 500, and Kurt is still killing it despite only having two trophy days. Yeah, Kurt, which team had the trophy for you for the year two days? Portland. Oh, that's right. Portland. It wasn't even the box or the Clippers or the Mavs no. or. No, wow. that's right. The box. That's that's got to be surprising. Is the fact that the Bucks have not held it at all yet. I think they've had two chances to get it and lost both games. Lost both. Ooh, that's that sucks. All right, so the recap, you can see a lot of orange on there. A lot of that Mets, Knicks orange right there, Brian. Uh, what do you think? And a lot of white. A lot of white. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's another set we can put on there. OKC has had the trophy more than Kurt has. Well, OKC and the Pacers together, I feel like. Pacers. Uh, oh, the Pacers yeah. had no, it for they like. They both have had it longer than I have had it. For, yeah, I think the Pacers had it like four or like five days or something. Yeah. yeah. I'd be Jeez. curious to put them in there, like the ghost, the ghost drafting, the, the, ghost, the, the, the ghost, the ghost team. team. Yeah, what happens if what yeah. happens if OKC goes on a run of like forty? Seriously, they could be they're competitive with us. Yeah, and they the only lose to the Pacers. It, the ghost teams have had it more than Brian has had it too. Uh, yeah, no, no, oh, no, that is. It's no, gotta be. I, I say, five, that, Kurt's probably looking six, at the stats. 11, 13, 15. 15? Oh, okay. oh, that's actually close to me. I think I'm yeah, at yeah. seventeen or nineteen. Yeah. Oh boy. The phantom teams are pretty good. So that's great. All right. So as you can tell, wait, is this is this a you your your text box thing or whatever doesn't work, Brian? Or is this I actually messed up the? Uh, I was going to say, here. why are you hiding the holder behind the stat leader? Let me. Because uh... Uh, the uh, beauty's in the eye of the uh, trophy holder, it's not or something. Oh, uh, I knew there was a reason for it. All right, back from intermission here. Back, and back we have to holder. the show. Wait, wait, wait. Corrected. Brian Brian finally gets the trophy. He's got to have this grandiose kind of uh, uh, entrance for it or whatever. So, all right, Brian, why don't you lead us through this? Why don't you lead us through the slide think, then, Brian? I think uh, tonight is where I run out of gas. Um, with Maxi coming back tonight, I think he's playing because I'm starting him in my fantasy league. 
And Ingram out, I think, 76. 76ers have also won like five straight, I think. Yeah. So uh, I think this makes six, and Pelicans have had a fun run. You think so? See, I'm I'm going to put my money on the uh, on the Pelicans tonight. Uh, that's where yeah. I, I think they're still going to win, even if Maxi comes back. I think it's still going to be Pelicans. Kurt, what are your thoughts? I think it's the Sixers. I think the Sixers win tonight. Uh, I think they got the better team. Uh, more com- yeah, less injured team. I, th- I think they'll they'll win tonight. It is tough to go against Embiid and Harden together. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah, seventy sixers are the favorite anyway. So yeah, all right, all right. We'll see. We'll see. And Tobias Harris and Tyrese mm-hmm. Maxey, they have got see- some depth. You see the oh, I I like the Anthony Melton. I'm a big fan of his. I wanted the Knicks to go for him. Um, yeah. Do you see uh, do you see Tobias Harris? There are connections with the Knicks going to, and Tobias Harris there. Yeah, that would be nice. But I don't think it'll happen. But he plays the same position as Randall, so it's like you're swapping in a scorer for another scorer, which mm, yeah, I don't, I'd rather just have Randall at this point. I don't like him, but yeah, we'll see. So All final right. answer, I think 76ers tonight. All right, so we have two 76ers and one for Pelicans. All right, so if you guys 76ers lose. Yep, I think Memphis will take it tomorrow. They have the back to back. So I think my. My run is coming to an end right here. I, I think your run is coming to an end. You have a really heady kind of schedule coming up. Like, let's say they beat the 76ers and they somehow, uh, uh, Ingram comes back and they beat Memphis. You have the 76ers again. Houston should be easy, but then you have Brooklyn, who's been hot. I think they're on like a 10 Which game Which is my team. This is yeah. fine. <laughs> yep. Yep. But, but I don't think you'll get that far. No. Kurt, if 76ers win tonight, what do you think? Or sorry, if 76ers lose tonight, what do you think? I think it's a long race until they get to me. Uh, I mean, Memphis was on a tear. I'm surprised they lost it when they did. Yeah. Um, and then they got the 76ers again. Like the chance of them winning these any all three of these games in a row is, I think, really low. I just realized that I have the 76ers. I completely forgot that they're yes. one of my teams. So I'm, I'm actually I I should be rooting for the 76ers. What the hell am I talking you about? Yeah, yeah I got I'm kind of surprised today. you're not. Um, <sighs> I also think that if I, I'm kind of obviously I'm rooting for the Pelicans, but if the 76, I'd rather them lose the 76ers either tonight or Monday than the Grizzlies because I feel like if the Grizzlies take it, we'll never see it again. Evan's gonna go on no. a long tear yeah. again. Yeah, <laughs> Grizzlies, Grizzlies are just they're healthy and they're too hot right now. So yep, I'm with you. All right, so let's hope that they lose soon. Ooh, so I threw this little extra stuff in there for our fantasy league. I know Kurt, you have nothing to do with this, and you don't care. But uh, nope. uh, we're uh, we're we're catching I up like to the you there. Standings Brian. at the bottom. You are catching up. We are catching up. But, but you're you're I've winning. I've also yet to lose in nine weeks, which is kind of cool. You do, yes. I, I've 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 definitely predicted that wrong ever since we've been playing this. But Evan and I, I think we've gone what five, one, and two. Like we like you were. That's a really dumb stat to throw out there. I just realized that that was really dumb. You just really uh, <laughs> yeah. missed your the, the one extra loss. loss. <laughs> I think other yeah, than other than, other than that effing sweep that you brought up against your team, Brian. I think <laughs> Evan and I have actually been doing well. Other than that, oh, we, I stepped up. My guys stepped up. We all knew the situation, and we're like, no, not a single category. Not, not today. Look, well, look at the stats on the bottom. It, it's what. 5-3 in favor of you, I think. Yeah. 5-3. We I'm, have... My, my team's hurt, man. You see? That, that's why we're catching up to you, because you're hurt. We have we have points, assists, and rebounds. And that's a... We're clo- look at free throw. That is really close, though. Oh, that's total. Right. I was looking at this week, too, how... Uh, I think you'd be crushing me this week. Oh, I didn't even look at that, too. Yeah. we See, it's, it's only when we play against you that Actually, we, we get... Our- no, oh, yeah, you definitely you got me in every category besides uh, field goal percentage. Yeah, you see, injuries play a major role. Kurt, do you do fantasy hockey still? No, I no? didn't get into it. No, I decided not to do it this year. Oh, I haven't yeah. had a chance to really do any fantasy. I I barely paid attention to football this year. Really? Yeah. I always I thought that was. Into it. I just thought that was like a you and Evan thing. Yeah, I'm in with his group, but um. Yeah, I, sh- I couldn't get into it this year. My team was bad. I only, I only had one good player, and he was iffy at best. I had Saquon Barkley, and that's it. No, oh, that's the Giants runner, right? Yeah. And then, like, right before 
um, trade deadline, I lost one. I was like, all right, I'm going to give Barkley one more chance because I was still in the playoffs. And then, um, like, after the trade deadline, I've, I think I've lost every week since then. Yeah, so just throwing the towel. Yeah, well, it Shoot. sucks because I should have traded Barkley. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here so, if we pick the player. I didn't want you peeking, Brent, but I'll, I'll bring it back. I think this is pretty easy. I'm going to give you, like, 10 seconds. Oh, Ben Wallace. Look at those rebounds. Yeah, dude. On yeah. second number eight. That was good. Yeah, look at look at those those rebounds and no points, but all those blocks. Yeah. No points. Look at three point <laughs> uh three points attempted. Zero. Zero. <laughs> I mean, his zero his career is zero. average to zero, but <laughs> like we could we could go into a game and still score more three pointers than him at this point. Yeah. Wow, and look, I mean, look for a guy that wouldn't shoot outside of like a half a foot. Look how bad his field goal percentage was. Like center should be up in the fifties, especially when you don't shoot from that. Like, like Mitch Robinson shoots like seventy percent from the field. He, he shoots off layup or uh, alley oops. Well, that two thousand five, two thousand six year, he played eighty two games. The only actually, there was one other year, eh, a couple other years earlier, he was better, but he was above five hundred. Yeah, yeah, but didn't take I'm, a single three point attempt. <laughs> <laughs> nope, big that's probably ben. why. I just big remember ben. blocking and rebounds. That's all he did. That's all he did. But look at those those monster like those monster years like when he was an all star with Detroit or a little bit before. Three blocks, 13, 15 rebounds. That's stupid, especially for a guy. They say he's listed at six nine, but I remember reading reports that they're saying he's actually closer to like six five, six six, and I'm like. Go, hmm. that you know without the afro and i'm like go, go figure a guy that strong that small could do that that's wild yeah Ridiculous. and he that's never averaged more than double digits no and that's and that is not much taller than evan if he's doing it against like shack and, and like guys like andrew bynum in his prime and stuff like that that's wild i don't know evan's what six two yeah it that's a big difference six five to six two Three, three, four inches? No, it's not. That's not a huge difference to go it's from. It's bigger than the difference. It's shorter than the distance between us and him. Oh, right. Oh, oh, oh between you... us to Evan. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's shorter. Do you think there's a big difference Evan, yeah. between being six nine and seven foot? In terms of being a center, I I do think that there's a pretty no, just decent the height difference. difference. Yeah. Height it's difference. Just the same thing. Uh, but but but. That, that's what I'm talking about, like a center versus a center. Same here comparison. we're talking. Here we're talking about Evan, one of us, compared to uh, an All NBA, one of the greatest of all time defenders. You know, that, to me, that is wild. Who, who guarded centers, yeah. centers? Like he guarded Shaq, who is seven one and like five billion pounds. You know, he's so not Evan much taller than Evan. Taller. <laughs> if Evan was three inches space. taller, had about a foot more in his hair, and weighed about a hundred more pounds, probably Evan, one hundred and fifty more pounds. Yes, yeah. Evan could be in the NBA. It'd be Evan Wallace. Evan Wallace. Big Ev. All right. I'm ready. Here we go. Um, Kurt, Kurt's probably never heard of this guy. Went to China. Okay. I didn't realize that when I put this in there that he had played in China. I did not know that. Yeah. Kurt, I Seems bet like his career ended after that. Yeah, Kurt. Uh, I don't think you know this guy. is, Even though this was like the like the pinnacle of us playing like 2k and all this stuff all the time i still bet you i bet you've never heard of this guy it's garnett it's obvious garnett uh they do have some similar teams there yeah, yeah. Boston, i see that in minnesota okay i see that boston and minnesota yeah i see that he did play a little bit with, like with paul pierce i think he was involved in getting garnett and all those guys I think, oh, yes. So he was, a, I think he was a part of the Garnett trade. That's why he's Boston. And then he went to Minnesota. I think that's when Garnett came to Boston. So I think he was a part of that trade. Just, just trade him away. What's that? His, His brother. brother. Sideshow Bob Lopez. Those two guys are so much fun in the NBA. Like, those guys look like they have so much fun. Like, I'm, I'm like, I would love to, like, like, I wish I could have been a twin brother with them. I guess that'd be a triple. There's a lot of brothers like that. That should be my next uh, trivia question to you: is how many brothers like brother duos in the NBA? Yeah, there's oh, quite a few. I think there are three: the Holiday Boys. I think Aaron, Justin. I think there's another one too. I yeah, I'm not gonna get this. I don't know. 
Uh, his first. All right, his first name is Al. Me, it, Al, not Al Harrington. No, not Al Harrington. You see New York on there, right? Um, well, when you got the Tony Allen one, I was like, oh, so I'm giving way too easy ones. Remember, this guy was all NBA too, so it's not like Tony he was Allen. A, we had just talked about, so I was like, that's why I was on your mind. All right. And then I and then I should say that I was like, this is just looks like Tony Allen. And then I Googled Tony Allen. I was like, yes, it is. Okay. Oh, so so, so you you did look at it before, it before, before and then Google. Oh, okay, you were just verifying. All right, this is. But Al- I told you about it. I wouldn't do that yeah. right now, right? I wouldn't. Correct. Come yeah. prepared, knowing I knew. Yeah. I don't know who this is. That's not a bad guess, Kerb. But Al Horford still plays. This is Al Jefferson. Yeah. No, I don't. No idea. <laughs> no idea. All right, name that Nick. The Knicks have had a plethora of point guards in the past decade. Name 15 starting point guards in 2012. Ready, go. Oh, geez. Uh, Derek Rose. I was going to say 10. Jeremy Lin. Yep, yep. Uh, Jalen Brunson. Raymond Felton. Mm -hmm. Tony Douglas. Would he count as a point guard? Yeah, yeah. He's on that list. Uh, Sessions. Boy. Oh, boy. I'm bad at this one. Udry. Benno Udry or something like that. The season, I think. Dude, really? Come on. I'm thinking. I, I I'm gonna give you is. one, but it doesn't count. Alec Burks counted. He's counted he as a point guard. Yeah, he started he's as a point, point guard. guard. He's, he's a small he's a forward for several games. He he did when all those guys got hurt. He was. Oh man. I'll give you another one, but I don't want to take any more away. You've got six. And what Calderon. It, yes, Jose Calderon counts. He was on. All right, Pablo Prigioni. Yes, Pablo. Uh, Billups. Yep, Chauncey Billups. Let me give you Emmanuel Mudiay. Oh, that's right. So you're, All right, I, I suck tonight. I don't know what it is. I'm terrible. Read off a couple. Let me see how bad I was. Then um, they could have like Ale- Alexi Shved Shved or whatever his name was. Taken quickly. Quickly has started a couple games. Dennis Smith Jr. Jason Kidd. Okay, that's pathetic. I didn't get that one. Right, that, was on, that, some... that, that was bad. That was bad. It was pathetic. I didn't get that one. Yeah, I I I, I should have had that. players. <laughs> yeah yeah exa- exactly. One of my all time favorite players. Oh, you can keep going boy. if you want. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'm, I, I feel bad enough as Bear it is. Some, some more. Baron Davis. Baron Mike Bibby. Bibby. Mike Bibby. I almost bought a Prigioni jersey, but I'm like, he's 39 years old. and <laughs> He's going to be on the team for like one more year, and then he's going to be in a wheelchair. Yeah. Shane Larkin. Langston Galloway? Langston Dude, eight. I'm going to stop because there's so many, and I'm like, oh, why didn't they move <laughs> Lang- You got Ron Baker. You got Brandon Jennings. Ron Baker was sad the Knicks even signed him that way. Well, they might as well go, oh, who, 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 who's, who's the BYU guy? Uh, Jimmer. 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 Did, did, yeah. Didn't he play for the Knicks for like a for like a did. game or two? Yeah. Trey uh, Burks, Frank Nathan Kalina. What about Frank? French Tra- Frank. Trey, Trey Burke I should have got. Frank Nilakina I should have gotten. You like blinked for- out between like 2000. 2000- like 2000, and 2020. I, after dealing with Mel, I think I just tried to blank out all that stuff forever. I, I could keep going, but I'd be curious <laughs> to see how many we just named together. I'd say at least 20. That was bad. That was a, yeah. All right. Is that it for the show? Yeah. Are you going to uh, play us a tune to take us out? Right. Oh, thing, the- like, sing us off, Tommy. <laughs> Do you guys see Ronaldo's going to get 75 million a year? Ronaldo. Uh, soccer player? Ronaldo? Yeah. He's going to get 75, 75 million a year. Million. Wow. Isn't he like washed up already too? No, he's still good. Is he? Every yeah. all my all my kids talk about her is is Messi. That's all they ever talk about. Yeah. 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 Well, he's he's the man. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. the best.